okay guys welcome back to my channel so the first thing I want to show you is that when you first receive the tiny hawk nano um, the first thing you need to know is how you gonna set up your radio to work with this thing okay so as you all know this is the collaboration between TBS and tiny whoop so they came up with this little amazing machine here but what it is is that it's not a normal type of flight controller that you can connect the USB to your beta flight so this is a proprietary you know flight control it doesn't work with beta flight you need to set up a special setting in your radio so that you can make this guy work now in this particular video I'm not gonna show you how to bind this little guy there's a few videos on YouTube already that show you how to bind this it's pretty simple you just remove the canopy press the button and get the you know the red LED to flash bind your red uh, turn your radio to bind and you bind it and you you want to see that you just search, you know, how to bind the nano to your radio. This particular video, I want to show you how to set up your radio so that you can get this guy up in the air, flying, have fun with it, okay? Because it doesn't work with your beta flight. So without further ado, let's start. So you got your radio. You turn your radio on. Okay, so first off, okay, you need to set up a model. So in this case, you can go, I just go copy one of this guy right here. Okay, copy the model and I want to show you. So typically you go into your model. Once you get your model copy or create a new model. When you first move uh, into your model setting, you're gonna see a few things. I already set this up as you can see, but I'm gonna walk you through this very simple process, okay? So you wanna make sure on your channel one, okay? And your channel one, you wanna make sure that you set that up. So let's go in here together. You go to edit. Now that channel one, okay, you wanna set up just exactly like this. You're gonna set it up as the roll. On the input, okay? On the input, you're gonna call it roll, okay? As you see here. Then you come down to the source, you make sure, okay, you sel select aileron, like I have here. So you move the stick around, you see how it, it, it roll over. Now you wanna select that, okay? Aileron, that's, that's the one you want for channel one. Once you get that, okay, you just back off, go to channel two. On channel two, you go the same thing, you go edit, and this is the input, you can rename it to pitch, okay? Then you come down to the source, this is where you're gonna uh, select your elevator. Okay, this is important. You have to make sure these two are lined up. So pitch, channel two, elevator. Okay, when you get your elevator select there, you go down to channel three. And channel three, basically your throttle. Okay, so you can edit that. As you see here, I just name it throttle. And then you go down here, make sure you select throttle, not anything else. See, if I move it, the stick, it goes to different value, but you want to select throttle. That's the one you want. Back out, go to the fourth channel. That will be your yaw. And yaw, you want to select rudder. Okay, make sure you select that. Then back out on channel five, will be your flight mode. This is important. So you go over here, you edit that. Okay, input, 
I, I basically love it, but, but I call it, as long as you see here, it's a channel five, okay? You see up here, it's a I5, that channel five. Then I named this guy uh, F mode, so fly mode. And then you select your, your switches. So in my case, this is gonna be my switches, okay? SB, as you can see here. Okay, when you select that, you back out, you go to the six, channel six, do same, do the same thing. Sorry about that, let me go back. All right. Oops. Channel six will be, so channel six is gonna be your VTX. So this is important. So channel six is VTX power, uh, you know, position power. I don't have a lot of switches, so I select this switch as you as my VTX, the SA, okay? Right here, okay? So you come down here, I select SA is my VTX, and channel seven is my arm. This is my arm, so you can see here, that's my arm mode okay and i select this switch here as my arm mode you can select any switch you want as long as it's a two position switch so you're good with that then the last one is the turtle mode so that is the channel eight i titled it a turtle and i will select this switch here as my turtle mode as you can see here once you did that you basically come back out okay then the next thing you want to do is to go to your mixer okay and the mixer your this this four top one through four will be all filled in for you and you just make sure that your channel five is your you know, you make sure you, you name that is your fly mode and make sure you have the source is channel five. Okay, then you can back out. You go to channel six and that's your VTX. The source is channel six. Okay, that's your mixer. And you go down the list like that. And channel seven will be your arm. And you go make sure that channel seven is your arm. You back out. You go to the next one will be your turtle mode, which is channel eight, that's your turtle mode, that's channel eight. So now you're all set. You're, you're set all your input and you set up your mixer to match up with your input. So you're actually uh, ready to roll right now, okay? So <clears throat> that's all you have to do. So let's see if it, uh, connect the battery to my little nano here to see if I can arm it and so we see if it works all right so so now I got the battery in the nano and let's plug the battery in and see if it's uh, found so now it's connected okay and uh, let's see if I can get this to uh, to start. There you go. You can and I actually see. Okay. Okay, that's how you get the radio to line up with the channel of this particular board so that you can fly. That's all folks. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you think this video is helpful. See you in the next video.